Yeah. Blaze. Uh-huh. I want you niggas to take a walk with me. See what my life like. You gotta understand this. Shit wasn't always good, man. Can you relate to me? Shit. I'm from the hood too. You know? Listen, let's go. Hey yo, through the years, no tears, just pain in my heart. She used to walk a couple dollars, got a ride on the door. Now I fuck some foreign, reminiscing them days when I was broke, no blades, couldn't afford no fame. No I was raised up in poverty. In Delaware, the second smallest state in the nation. Known for corporate friendly laws to DuPonts and tax free shopping. Some people know it as the place to pass through on the way to New York or DC. Most outsiders assume it's just a quiet, peaceful town. Not really. We just had a shooting on the corner not even an hour ago. It's too many little we filming. They playing music. Disrespectful. People have no respect in the hood. How are we supposed to make the hood look good? Look at it. Motherfuckers get popped down here to stab. Now me. You see here? I'm Shaquille Jackson, and this is a story about the true hood. I mean, like the true, like none of that face stuff y'all see on TV. I mean, true, like for real. Dig this, you ain't gonna get no more gutter than this right here. Right there. You're in the heart of the hood right here. You know what I mean? Where it all go down. You got people on each corner down here. Wanna be hustlers, a couple of gamblers, you know, whatever. Where we gonna go find drugs? It ain't never going nowhere. It's gonna be here, basically. So what the fuck we gonna do? Yeah. All we can do is just take it, sell it, and try to do whatever we can. Tell the police stop harassing black folks. That's all I got to say. You see here? You see here? You see the scar on my leg? The scar go all the way. The scar go all the way up to my upper thigh. Leave them guns alone, cousin. This scar right here on my forehead. It's from boys coming around here trying to jump on my sons and I was out here breaking it up. And one of the boys hit me. Right here I had eight stitches on my forehead. Um, it's bad out here. It really is. If you plan on surviving, no longer is Batman and shit niggas robbing. Pistols getting waved and your face is hypnotizing. That's why Big guy, like huge stocky dude, it's like just like like punches me, right? And every time everybody else starts hitting me, it's like just punching me, punching. Me. Then it's one like huge, like grown stocky dude that threw me into a car, and I like fell down, hit my head, and I like blacked out for like a second or two, like cause just cause somehow I like ended up standing up, and I didn't know I was standing up. And then there's like punching me, kicking me, throwing me, and, like and like so like I guess like I guess well after like five minutes or so they like just left, and then. I was like limping home, my mouth was bleeding, my like my jaws like literally broken, it was like swollen like out to here. Like seriously, like I got wires and screws and uh, look. See all that? Look at that. Look at it. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> I got more metal than a grill in my mouth right now, like seriously. It's just like Ugh. And I gotta like, eat everything like through a straw. It's like it's just nasty. You ever try eating a pizza door straw? From all the rumors and lies, sweater, poverty, room and all. We done lost all, all our clothes, clothes in the basement. Oh, man. Beware, the ceiling, if, don't. We, if, if we it, use beware. the towel, it leaks in the kitchen. We need new refrigerator. Yeah. New we stove, need everything. We new stove. Fire. Before I end up in a box or a prison Somewhere locked, washing pots for a living Before they put me on the spot to make an awkward decision The shooting How innocent people get shot I live in a nice Anywhere average black person gonna move with their kids is gonna be in the hood 
Where is it safe for your kids to no play? Street. Nowhere. Your kids can't go to the park. Your kids can't go nowhere. Your kids can't even come outside and walk down the street without hearing gunshots. So is this your first time hearing gunshots? Not in this area, no. Second. This is my second time. This is probably about the 12th time I done heard some gunshots. This is my second time. Because I didn't know whether the gunshots was coming this way or not. See, All I knew was to run. So you got your own Were you on your own property? Yeah, well, I was, yeah. I was cleaning off some chairs, minding my own business. My son was doing his homework. And then we heard, what, seven or eight gunshots? <laughs> What's that? That's a bullet. That's, that's the bullet from the shooting down the street. It was on Darren's porch. This bullet landed just 50 feet away from this mother and her child. And and they're bringing these guns out here, and I think it's real sick that, that we have to just have to snatch our kids up to bring them inside the house because they're on their thing. I got kids, you know what I mean? I'm young, I'm only 25, I got kids, I got six kids. And that whole shooting and all that other stuff, people don't realize that when you go through all that dumb stuff that you do, you know what I mean, you affecting other people's lives that you don't know. Mothers. And, you know what I mean? Mothers, fathers, brothers, yes. cousins, aunts, whatever. Yes. You affecting other yes. people that you don't know. Cam um, Riles. Killed on September the 24th, and, and uh, I was in church when it happened, and uh, I had to got the call from Vandrick saying that uh, he heard that somebody in the right Lexus got shot. Actually, there was a lot of Lexus here in Delaware, and uh, then he called me back five minutes later, said it was Cameron. So, so then he called me back. Two, three minutes later, and I couldn't understand. It was incoherent. And all he was saying, he was dead. He was dead. There's a little junkie down here now. So he left me, he touched nothing. This is nice. It's a musical booth they have. Take my life, jealous niggas try to take my life, try to break my stride, but I survive ghetto streets. This is my letter to the Lord, four pages deep, signing with love and sitting with tears. This is the pain that a thug can feel it for years. Can't believe I'm writing this, man. It's crazy. Shit, I got so much to say. Hey yo, let me put my pain in this pen together. Write your main a letter. See when you young, you don't think life ending ever. Man, hold on. We out here cause my people the police, they say they trying to do something for us, but they ain't doing nothing. They not really trying to do nothing. They not doing nothing. They come out here questioning us. We don't got nothing to help them with. We don't know nothing. You see our people out here 
Aaron Flowers. Yeah, and that's they people, so technically every man standing right here is basically a victim. You know what I mean? We they victims. They feeling the same pain he felt. You know what I mean? But jumping out on us, that ain't gonna solve nothing. You know what I mean? It's a camera right there. How they ain't see it? Stand on the corner, you leave yourself open. Yeah, you know I mean, you leave yourself open for a lot of things. You know, however I go, I'm gonna go. God, I want to pull my number. He's gonna pull my number. It ain't, you don't have a number on this day, on this day, on earth. When it's time for you to go, it's time for you to get. There's no way fans or much about it. I can't believe I'm writing this, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Say yes to say what to say. Shit, I got so much to say. Hey yo, let me put my pain in this pen together yeah. Write your main a letter yeah. See when you young, you don't think life ending ever I'm getting better at accepting you gone I gotta continue to live, cause when life goes on As we move on, you're gone, but you're still not forgotten yeah. Express pain through rap, what I feel is what I'm jotting yeah. When yeah. death comes knocking, somebody gotta answer that yeah. Why the good die young, somebody gotta answer that This is how we live every day Welcome to my hood